Assistive Technology, Tools for Independence, Bethany and AT for Mobility, Disability Network, Southwest Michigan. Hi, I'm Max Hornick and I'm an ADA specialist and systems advocate for Disability Network, Southwest Michigan. My pronouns are they, them, and theirs, and I'm here today with Bethany, who will be sharing her experiences with assistive technology, also known as AT. AT includes any item, software, or product system that's used to improve or maintain the capacity of people with disabilities to function independently. Bethany, will you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Bethany, and I live here in Southern Michigan. Awesome. Thanks for being with me today. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about your disability? Okay, so I have spina bifida. The form I have is called myelomeningocele. And basically, it's I have, I can't walk, and I have no feeling from like top of my thighs down. So basically, my legs, um, I have no feeling. So. Okay, so could you tell me about um, the whatever kinds of AT that you use? Um, I use uh, a manual wheelchair to get around um, and it's what allows me to participate in life. It allows me to go places without people having to carry me around. Um, so yeah, it allows me to go run errands independently. It allows me to, you know, see friends and family. I participate in CrossFit um, here in my community. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's, it's, for lack of a better term, it's my legs. Cool. Um, so could you tell me, how, how would you say that using AT affects your life? It mostly affects my life very positively. Like I said, it's how I get around and go out in the community. Um, some negative aspects of it, though, um, is accessibility because um, not every place is made for me, whether it's a place that a building that doesn't have a ramp, a building that doesn't have an elevator in it so I can't access all floors, um, a building that the bathroom, this is a big one. Either I can't get in the bathroom at all. I even have this problem at my sister's house. I can't use the bathroom at her house. Um, so can't, either I can't get in the bathroom or once I get in the bathroom, say a bathroom has a stall, their accessible stall isn't that accessible because I can't get in the stall or I can get in the stall but I can't close the door. Or I can get in the stall, door closes, but it doesn't lock. Oh no. <laughs> yes. And if I'm with somebody, you know, that scenario is all fine and good because they can hold the door, but I'm not always with somebody. And if I'm not and the lock on the door doesn't work, there I am hanging out for everybody to see. And who wants that? Who wants that? I mean, I'm disabled, but I'm a human being. I deserve dignity. I deserve respect. I deserve privacy. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that information. Um, is there anything else you want to share today before we wrap up our conversation? Yeah. Um, something that I always try to express to people, don't be afraid to ask questions. I mean, I understand that you don't know, even, even if you have seen somebody in a wheelchair or you know somebody in a wheelchair, my situation may be completely different than their situation. Don't be afraid to ask some questions. Just be polite and don't ask me something that you wouldn't want me asking you. Don't ask overly personal questions if you don't know me like that. Um, also, let your kids ask questions. They're not, they're just curious. If they're staring at me, don't try to, you know, I want them to ask questions because it's how, like everybody else, that's how they learn, you know, and they don't mean any harm. So 
Yeah, I actually love kid questions. They're great. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so much for sharing your experiences with AT with us, Bethany. And thank you in advance to any viewers for watching. Please share your thoughts and questions about AT with us. And we'll be sharing more videos about AT soon. So stay tuned. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Learn more about Disability Network Southwest Michigan at dnswm.org.